Well, Cowboy Jim, Fort McMurray, Alberta, Canada. Third video of this rainy day. And uh, I went to the Lord um, quite a bit um, this morning and uh, did two videos. Uh, the last one, uh, uh, for those who have been deceived, and it's important uh, to understand that if a person uh, makes a mistake, uh, believes a lie, um, is determined by those who have propagated the lie, um, that that their acceptance of the behavior of the people who have chosen to believe a misrepresentation of the truth. Um, if a person is gullible enough, they, uh, they will believe a lie. Most times people only believe a lie when it fits their agenda. It's what they want to hear. And thus, when someone says something in a convincing manner, um, people tend to believe it. And that's the way Satan works, the great deceiver. And that's the way it is. I, I did a, a bunch of videos right at the very beginning. Uh, we now have 893. This is 894 uh, YouTube videos. And when I did the first bunch, when I started, I, I did um, um, a video called The Warrior Woman. And it was, it was from the heart, but it was just crazy, eh? Uh, it, it was wonderful. Could have been turned into uh, something special, a book, um, um, a series, television series, something like that. It it was shocking. Um, the next 50 videos that I did, I was recovering from having been drugged. And I... Uh, when God finally told me uh, to quit eating anything that was carried in by that supposed friend, um, and God said, "Don't eat anything he touches. Don't don't drink anything that he comes near. Uh, stop that." I did. Uh, first six weeks of that experience of drugging, I dropped uh, from two hundred pounds down to. Uh, much less than 167, uh, much less. And I had never done drugs uh, at all. Uh, T3s on occasion uh, as a result of uh, a surgery. Uh, morphine once when I was in ICU for eight days. Whoa, that's good stuff. And, uh, and so on. But I did my videos the same way that I do them now from the heart. Um, God could well have uh, totally healed to me from the drugs that, uh, psychiatric type drugs that uh, had been put in my food when the guy insisted on carrying my lunchbox uh, into work. And, and um, but God didn't. And I, I kind of look off to the side and I, I think I know why God did not give me a miraculous healing. I know now why God did not bless my videos in the beginning. There was a lot of flesh, my flesh, that was getting in the way. <clears throat> and it was... Um, I have often considered, I did delete the one that was called the warrior woman, but oh, uh, what a potential uh, with the help of someone who knew how to write or 
um, knew how to do a television script, uh, what a potential that could still have, but I don't know anyone like that. And I, I know that God allowed me to go through some horrors um, of people misrepresenting who and what I was. I, I know that young man and his lady that did that, uh, they were just trying to destroy what God had spent my lifetime trying to build uh, in me. And, and I know that I, I struggled back then with how could people who, who knew me uh, believe such a misrepresentation of the truth as what they saw that I, I was walking in. I lost my mind from those drugs and it took, um, four months I had been drugged. Um, and it took another six to nine months for me to stop having flashbacks. I didn't know I was having flashbacks. I didn't know until God said and showed me. I didn't know that I had been drugged because I had never done drugs. I never knew. And um, when God finally told me, I, I, I had talked to him daily. Uh, God, tell me why I am losing my mind. I knew it. Uh, one supervisor, uh, he said, Jim, you have gone from being the best driver, his words, not mine, uh, in the mind to being the worst driver in the mind. And it was true. I had. And, but I didn't know how to counter it. And it only took time for God to sort it out and return me to the level of mental acuity, whether that's good or bad, uh, that I have always walked in. And those first videos that I did, I, I eliminated so many of them, deleted so many, and uh, of a truth, I could probably go over them again and delete another um, 50 of those videos. But God says, no, because he, God, wants me to remember where and what I had and have come from. I came from the worst times in my life then. That was only three and a half years ago. And I was, and am actually, so ashamed of where the beginnings of my YouTube channel uh, came from. And, but, God, and I, I look away as, as I always do. And God said, it was not your fault. He said, it was not my fault. It was that God needed me to go through the evil of the intent of that person who had drugged me. And the miscarriage of justice that took place in my life, in the hearts really of those who um, didn't want me anywhere near <clears throat> I 
remember one deceiver. Um, I didn't even know about it at the time. Um, I left uh, living with him and his lady, a uh, co-worker at work, and another fellow. Um, and I left, eh? And, um, and they, he told my friends at work where I had worked, he said, Jim lit a bonfire on the middle of the deck of the double wide trailer. You don't do that without getting charged. I remember uh, waking up during the night when the fire department came. Uh, no one ever questioned me. Law enforcement didn't because I hadn't done it. But that liar, that deceiver had told my friends at work that I had and no one asked me about it for one full year. And I, I think how, how easy is it for you and I to believe a lie? I have come to the conclusion in life that I will not repeat anything that I hear. Thus, the people that I work with, uh, they know. They can tell me anything. I will never breathe a word of it to anyone. Because I suffer from a, a trauma. It's called being gullible. I choose to believe people and I don't know who to believe. And so the safest thing that I've come to the conclusion of, I don't believe much, but I won't repeat anything that I am told, not ever, not never. Um, and I study my heart. You, you'll notice I, I look away. I, I, I'm just so seeking God in this video because I'm kind of wore out already to uh, 30 plus minute videos so far this morning. And, uh, and I want to know beyond shadow of doubt that what I am saying is what God wishes for me to say. He says, I am on track. I am fine. Um, I, well, remember those first videos and my one supervisor who had allowed me to get on a hoe, uh, 11 shifts I had done on a hoe. He had said, that boy, you sure can tell that boy has been uh, around uh, a hoe. Well, you could, uh, because God taught me how to run a hoe. And people lose their minds. They rip their hair out and all of that, because people like to think of God as being, I look over at my can of Tim Hortons. By the way, it's kind of getting down, so I'll have to get another one soon. And... Uh, and people think of God as being something like that, that you fabricate in your own mind in order to uh, placate some need in your heart, soul, spirit to worship something you're not sure what, and hopefully it's not yourself. That would be narcissistic. Um, but God has allowed me to error, to screw up, to miss Mark. Um, in order to give me something to remember in order that I don't do it again. And um, I had spent one year um, suffering from the four months of drugging, the uh, attack of Satan in the person of that man who uh, tampered with my food and 
tried to rip the front end out of my truck and drained the oil out of the old Dodge and blew the engine. And people who I revered and respected and honored, uh, they didn't believe me a lick. Some did, some didn't. And God has given me the privilege and the honor of bearing that shame in order to help me not do it again, not not screw up again. Uh, he taught me don't don't repeat things um, because they will may be wrong. And I um, look at my present day YouTube videos and I say, God, to God be the glory. Great things he, God, hath done uh, compared to the uh, initial videos that I was doing. I had this heartfelt thing uh, where I wanted to find an avenue, a way, a means whereby I could touch someone's heart around the world and, um, and make a difference in their lives. I will never forget the people who have asked, made comments on my YouTube channel, and I will never cease to thank them, to thank God for them, to remember to pray for them. I have experienced some of the most awe-inspiring emptying out of myself in my YouTube videos. And I, I am reminded time and time again, I will not believe a lie. I will not repeat what others have said. I won't because I don't know um, how to tell uh, the difference in a perceived truth and a real truth. Uh, I love scripture because it is benchmark. It is black and white. It is readable. Uh, I can compare one verse and compare it with the tenets of faith uh, the tenets of other uh, verses throughout Scripture, and and that's what I choose to do. Um, well, may I live out the remainder of my life um, alone, except God. And Jesus, the unction of the Holy Spirit, uh, this foursome, uh, and I'm not bringing God down to my level and I'm not taking myself up to his. I am a servant of God. I revel in what God has done for me. I'm kind of in awe on occasion when I hear and I see other people's hearts and how uh, their hearts have been touched by my letting God deal with my heart. And I, I'm kind of uh, thrilled that God has given me the time to live and hasn't taken me home yet because I want my life to accomplish something for good. That's why I am the way I am. That's why I work the way I do. That's why I speak, live, do what I hope is the will of God for my life. I am 
not special. But God says, that I am someone, he doesn't use the word someone, but I am special because I have chosen to believe in him, in the creator and Jesus, the son of the living God who suffered, bled and died on the cross for my sins. So I do not, stand in front of the mirror much at all. Uh, I'm still in my sitting out back having a coffee with the Lord attire. I wouldn't dare go downtown in such an outfit. Would not happen. Not happen at all. Um, But when I go before God, I don't try to whitewash who and what I am. I don't ever tell God, never tell God uh, what I think of myself. Never. I tell God what I know of myself, my, shall we say, successes, but more importantly, my failures. I never forget my failures. And those videos that I, I did while I was recovering from being drugged, some were terrible. I remember uh, the bitterness that um, when I was trying to transition from ranch stories to things about God, and I am so glad that God brought me through that. Because the only thing that counts in my life today is what have I done in the Lord's name? My failures, yes, that's the first thing I think of, always the first thing I think of. Um, but those areas in my life where in God has blessed and touched my heart in the hope that my heart would in turn touch someone else's heart. And that's, that's why I am the way that I am. It's not a, a stupid, uh, false, impression of who I am and what I am. It's not, it's not. It is the knowledge of what and who I can become in God through the wisdom of the Holy Spirit in the learning of God the Father and God the Son and the attentiveness towards Scripture. That is what I, I pursue. Therein is life and and more abundant life. And I have learned uh, to be content in God with much and or little. And I have learned to honor God for what he's doing in my life. Um, my eldest son said, Dad, you don't know it, but you have been alone all your life except for God, Jesus, the Holy Spirit. He said, you've been alone all your life, even in a crowded room. And I have. I, I didn't notice 
I didn't realize that that was and is the case, but it is. But I will live my life out of the abundance of my heart in God. And I ask God to improve, uh, enhance my heart, my compassion, my caring, sharing, and all those things. And I do. Have I arrived? No. No. That may be the title to this video. I want you to know something that I know. God is not finished, done with me yet. I am in the process of learning, living about who and what God is, and in turn about what he, God, wishes for me to become. So I will, time to time, look back, hunt 800 plus videos ago, and I will watch um, and assess where I was in that era of my life. And I will thank God that I'm not there anymore, that I have learned that my mission is not to be an omission, but it is a fulfillment of the commission that God has given me to be as much as I can be, to be used by God, to be available to be used by God, to touch as many hearts as I can. This is not an oh me moment. It's no one. There's no self pity here. Uh, there's no self indulgence here. There is nothing but optimism in God and in what God intends to do with me. I know He has a purpose. I revel in that purpose. I. God says, draw it to a conclusion. I will never do a video. My prayer is that I will never do a video that omits the opportunity for you to decide to choose in whom you have believed. And are you persuaded that Jesus the Christ suffered, bled, and died on the cross for your sins? That God so loves you that he had Jesus, his son, suffer, bleed, and die on the cross for your sins. And the way to be at peace with God is not pretending to be holy, pretending to be self-righteous, pretending to be righteous. It doesn't float, but merely humbling yourself and asking God to forgive you. And say a prayer or something like this because you are going to live until you die. It's the way it is, children. Say a prayer like this from your own heart. It must needs be from your own heart. It's good if it's your own words as well. God, forgive me. I choose to believe that Jesus the Christ is your son that he, Jesus, suffered, bled, and died on the cross for my sins. I am so sorry for having lived the way I have. Help me to be what you want me to be. God loves you. You may not like yourself. Nowadays, they say you have to love yourself. I have never even liked myself, let alone loved myself. I am not the lifter of my head. God is the lifter of my head. God is my strength. I am 
a, a servant, just a servant, one of many who chooses to serve God in honor of God's love for me. My joy is to serve God. My prayer is that you will see God's love through what I've chosen to do with God's love in trying to touch your heart as God. That's what God is trying to do is to touch your heart. So you will be able to look beyond the morass that you find yourself in. And I have always uh, felt sad, but I have always felt strong when I was at my weakest uh, because my strength is in God, not in myself. I will quit this life when God calls me home. Until then, I simply say to God be the glory, great things he God hath done. So loved he the world that he gave his only son. What are you going to do with that son? It's up to you. It's up to you. Thank you. Short video. I'm tired. I'm more tired than I, I would have been if I'd worked a night shift. And in my emptiness of strength within, I know God will fill me with his presence, his kindness, his love, because God is love. You know, I, I look away in my heart um, when I talk to people, I'm, I, I talk slowly um, because I'm so thoughtful uh, and I ask God um, just like that, just look away and is it enough? He said to Dios, trust in God. He, God, loves you. Amen and amen. God bless you. God bless you. Thank you. Oh my goodness. I touch a stupid thing. I, I I so humbly apologize. We wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against powers and principalities in high places, and seemingly against my silly laptop, which would not cease and desist from recording. So, Lord says, um, don't delete it. So I'm, I'm not going to. I'll stop this stupid recording. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you.